This very brief video is how you make a boost leak tester. This is specifically for uh, a Duramax, where you'll remove the silicone coupler coming off the turbo um, and replace it with this. But basically all you need to do, and it's going to de depend on what vehicle you're trying to make this for. This is specifically for a Duramax. You need a 2-inch PVC plug not a cap plug um, I will put a link in the description to uh, this as well as your standard valve stem I'll put a link to both of them in in the description all you need to do is drill a half inch hole through this stick this through the hole pull it through and you have a boost leak tester. So for the Duramax, you need a two inch PVC plug for any other vehicle. You could do this the exact same way. Just, uh, you obviously didn't know what the diameter of the coupler is that you're gonna hook this up to. Uh, but for any Duramax, uh, two inch PVC plug, um, this whole thing costs uh, less than 10 bucks. And if you look on the internet, they sell these things for obviously not this, a more polished properly built version of it but how frequently are you using this for a one-time use or occasional use this will get the job done without spending an absurd amount of money uh, so you're gonna drill a half inch hole through pull the valve stem through until it's locked into place as you can see it's completely seated and that's it then you're gonna hook this up you take the coupler off your turbo pop this in there tighten this on into the coupler and run your air compressor into it. Obviously, it would be best if you have a tire inflator that has a gauge built onto the actual handle uh, so you can see what you're putting in or a regulator on your compressor to regulate it to the PSI that you wanted to hear. But as soon as you start filling this up, get it up to like 20 PSI, you'll, you'll, you'll hear where your leaks are coming from if you have them. Um, but yeah, that's it. Under 10 bucks.